Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. And this video is going to be about a file I was supposed to give away on Laser Maker's Realm and got sidetracked. But this will be a free file for everyone watching. And it's a quick file that you can generate a lot of revenue with really quick. Stay tuned. So I was supposed to give this file away on Laser Maker's Realm uh, the other day, and things got bumfoozled in that stream and just simply forgot to do it. Uh, so I'm giving this out to everyone watching on Hobo with Wood right now uh, and recommend that if you're not subscribed to Laser Maker's Realm, find that channel on YouTube. I'll have that link in the more section below. Uh, subscribe to that channel. We try to go live there every other week and have these types of files all the time. But this is uh, December the 20th, five days before Christmas, and this file is an easy file to, to, to make. There's no, especially the way I have it laid out for you. You don't have to measure anything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think about anything. You just have to download the file, send it to the, to the laser, cut it out, and put a couple of glue dots on it and you're ready to go. Put a ribbon on it. Uh, cut, glue little clothespins on it. It's easy, easy to assemble, especially with the way I've got this template designed. And what is that project? It's this. Now this is what I'm, a photo holder. You got a little bitty uh, clothespin right there. You can clip a photo there and you can clip a photo here. So you display two of your favorite photos. And if you've got two kids, you can either pick your favorite kid or uh, one of each kid or, or your significant other, whatever. But these are very popular and easy to make. It's two slats cut out and glued to the back of this holding these together. And with the way I've got this template design, and I'm going to show you here in a second, you don't even have to make sure that you keep everything square. I've got the template to do that for you. And then I just got a real cheap piece of ribbon tied on there so you can hang it. You can use rope or anything else that you might already have in the shop. So uh, these I sell for $19.95 a piece. Uh, I might do two for 30. But let's take a look at this project in Lightburn real fast. So the way this file will download, you have all of this set up on a 12 by 12 sheet. That's what this toolpath is right here. It's 12 by 12 or 300 by 300 material. And I have it positioned on the material so that it's 10 millimeters from the top with a 10 millimeter gap between each piece. And then I have these little uh, marks right here on either side that are going to engrave on what is going to be the template. So all of this gets sent to the laser preview and that's going to cut out like so and these three little dashes are just going to be engraving marks and those are alignment marks I use to glue these slats to the back of the material. Once I get done in, with the first engraving, it's engraved and it's cut out, I take this piece out, flip it over and burn my brand right on the back on the bottom piece there. Then I take that entire piece, that whole uh, 300 by 300 material out of the laser with all the pieces, go over to my workbench and lay these pieces face down, glue up the backs of these where glue is going to line up with the slat. Then I take the slat and I will align it to the top of the material. So I bring that top edge of the material right over to that uh, engraved mark right there, like so. And then I take this one, 
and take it to the top like so oh there we go it's going to be a perfect 10 millimeter gap at the top and the bottom you're not going to have to worry about squaring up your pieces because they're in the template holding it square you're going to do this of course on the back all this will be face down then once you've got that glued up and assembled you can lift that out and then what I have here for you are four pieces of 300 by 300 material that is got these nested There's one two three four five pieces here five five and five that's going to make five more of these and here this one's just an array of these slats and there are an excessive number of these slats because I went ahead and put one on here and each side because otherwise it's going to probably turn out to be wasted material so I'll go ahead and get a slat out of it and then just in case there's any uh, filler or bad wood or anything like that these extras are going to help you pick your best pieces and I went ahead and filled that entire area up with them again because otherwise it may just turn out to be wasted material now you've got a nice rectangular piece down here that is not waste. Uh, in fact, what I would probably do is maybe even put a cut line from here to the edge just to cut it off so I've got a nice rectangular piece that's my leftover material. Uh, and you're going to have five pieces of 300 by 300 material tied up and if you're getting really premium stuff like I use, you might be paying anywhere from $1.80 to $2 a sheet for some of this stuff. So you're going to have maybe $10 in material tied up, plus the little miniature clothespins that I got from Hobby Lobby uh, and on some random ribbon that I had. You'll have uh, 20 some odd dollars in material, and you're going to generate uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that are going to sell for... Uh, around 20 bucks a piece so you, that's going to be two four six eight ten ten dollars ten dollars material is that what i say yeah about ten dollars of material uh and turn it into 120 so ten dollars turned into 120 bucks and i'm giving you this file for free and you're going but wait i don't have that font well i thought of that this is no longer a font i converted this font to a shape and saved it so when you bring this file into your uh, into Lightburn or your um, software you use for your laser if you can import an SVG this will be available in an SVG as well so it's not just a Lightburn file it'll also be an SVG and undo let's put all those slats back into place this will be how you will import that file so that'd be an SVG like that or a Lightburn file like that and you can turn 10 bucks into 120 bucks this is a real fast last-minute Christmas gift idea and or potentially sell to someone who needs a last-minute Christmas gift and since it's not Christmassy these are something that you can sell year-round and actually you make my heart sing with the little hearts on the ends of those uh, script that's also going to be a great product for Valentine's Day so this is going to be a, pr a project file for you for the that could potentially draw uh, earn you a considerable amount of money between now and February 14th and I'm giving it to you I just ask that you are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on future files like this be sure you're subscribed to the laser makers realm because that's where this file should have been given away but things happen uh, so look for the laser makers realm be sure you're subscribed to it because that's going to be a, uh, a, a collaboration channel with other makers that are giving away free files as well subscribe to this one if you do want to say thank you I've got options where you can donate at PayPal uh, Zelle uh, super thanks is always available just below this video um, and if you would like to seriously consider being a, a full-time supporter jump over to patreon.com slash hobo with wood 
and help support this channel to where I can continue to give files away to everybody and we can make the laser community that much more fun. But I'm going to get out of here and go make some of these so I'll have some Christmas gifts. And until the next video, I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I'm out.